I don't know what that is or why you're playing that. It's an 8-bit version of the song and I love 8-bit versions of the song. They're so cool! <laughs> Alright. Cannot relate to them. The video is live. I like them. Let's see if anybody joins. No! I'm going to move this temporarily. Oh, it's really dark on me, but that's okay. And you're getting a glimpse into my home. So there's that. All right, we've got, it's about a minute or so, maybe about 30 seconds until we begin the demo of Trogdor. Hey, I figured out how to save videos, by the way. Awesome, good. Drug That's my lovely wife. Hello, lovely wife. Oh, oh, there I am. Yes, you're there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but that's where you are. You're all there. <laughs> we are silly. My children are also going to join us. Okay. Yeah, it's not quite one, two o'clock yet. I hope everybody is doing well on this yucky. Rainy, can't go outside Saturday. Move this way. Okay, it is two o'clock. We are going to cover today the Trogdor board game. If you have never played, no. Oh, you're moving the light. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you. hey, look, it's see, me. I can it's see you me. now. We're learning. Uh, that's our first video set up from home. So uh, hopefully we're going to do some more of these so you guys can see some of the awesome games that we do carry when um, maybe you haven't got a chance to play them yet. So Trogdor is the creation of Strong Bad, which was a character in the popular webtoons Homestar Runner. And I did post a link to the video uh, in the event page. So go back and check that out if you haven't watched it already or if you're not familiar with Trogdor. But Trogdor is this big beefy armed dragon looking thing and he burninates the countryside and the peasants Burn and, and the thatch roof cottages. And the thatch roof cottages. Thatch roof cottages. So this is actually a cooperative game for two to six players and you are playing, everybody is playing as Trogdor and you are trying to burninate the entire countryside and eliminate the peasants. So what are the ways that we could win again? Uh, if you burninate the entire countryside, there are no peasants left on the board or all three thatch roof cottages are burned. Very cool. So you're actually playing as a secret society of people oh, who my aid Trogdor. You get your own personal. We are the keepers of Trogdor. Keepers of Trogdor. Yes, you get your own personal character card that cool. tells you special abilities. So we're gonna. I'm gonna move the camera real quick. So give me just a moment to place that back so you can see the board, and we'll also show some of the minis. Oh, you're getting a glimpse into my messy, messy living room. <laughs> reattach the cable i wish facebook live had an option to do like multiple cameras that's what i wish that's one of my wishes and if you have any questions or comments about the game as we are playing it i am watching the feed so you can comment away where is the other bag of minis i wanted to show some of the minis so i'll do my best to kind of show the managers this is the deluxe version that comes with nice plastic minis as well as, and again, these will make more sense if you actually watch the video, but these are the wooden meeple versions of Trogdor you can use, or you can use the nice painted plastic miniature of Trogdor. Here's a thatch roof cottage. Here's a thatch roof cottage. This is a standard wooden meeple, but then you also have these awesome 3D printed, I guess they're 3D printed, 3D manufactured cottages where the roofs flip over and now you can see that it is on fire. That's how you indicate that the cottage is on fire. The standard tokens have a unburninated side and a burninated side. Thank you. And we got Melinda's watching. So say hi to Melinda. Hi, Melinda. So we have peasants. The peasants only really have one side, but you show that they are burninated. 
by crowning them with the crown of burnation. It's a very important part of the ceremony. Yes. Do not skip it. The instructions say so. All right. And how we lose when the knights, there's going to be a movement phase for the knights. And when the knights move, if they end up in a square or cross a square with Trogdor and the same thing on his movement, he will do a damage to them. And we remove a, a peasant from the Trogometer or Trogmeter, I guess. And when the Trogmeter is, if he would take one more damage after the Trogmeter is empty, then Trogdor loses the game. Ah, or does he? Oh, well, there is an option that uh, when he would be defeated, he goes on a fiery rampage. And that's actually how we won last night. He went on a fiery rampage where you draw the, the movement cards. Hmm? Whatever. Uh, you draw the movement cards, and Trogdor moves along that path, burninating everything in his, in his wake. And we actually ended up burning the last tile and the cottage on the very last move. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we kind of won. Uh, Melinda is asking how we rig the camera. I actually have an overhead document camera that we use when we do our magic singles. And I have that perched atop two very tall structures, and it's pointing straight down onto the board. So we can move the camera to where it's facing that way instead of that way, where the board itself is facing. Well, I'd have yeah, to move well, the whole well, setup. Yeah. But you just get the idea. Up there, I think. No, it's oh. fine. It's fine. We're, fine. We're not going to worry about oh, yeah. that this kind video. Of, We're learning as we go, yep. and we can fix that for next time. Okay. Week. Okay. So these are our keepers of Trogdor. So everyone's going to get one of these. And my, my children are joining us as well. Say hello, children. Bye. Oh, you missed a perfect opportunity for a pun. I said, say hello, children. You should have said, hello, hello children. children. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, your keepers of Trogdor. Oh, this is who I was the other night. I was Cranjag. Uh, <laughs> Cranjag. Um, normally, Trogdor can only move in a, north, in a linear, south, linear fashion, northeast, south, or west. But Cranjag here allows them to move diagonally, and there's different keepers of Trogdor that will allow you to do different things. So as my lovely wife explained, we are actually the keepers of Trogdor, and we are the ones kind of like, I guess, controlling his, his movements. We aid him in his we quest to him. burn any Okay. Side. Everybody is also going to get an item card. I don't know if you can see those. And the item cards will allow you to do a thing, and then it's kind of tough to see. There we go. Will allow you to do a thing, and then some of them will have a recharge ability. So Certain actions on other players' turns will allow you to recharge that card because when you do use it, it would become exhausted, turning it sideways, much like you do in a magic game. Uh, and you can't use it again until it has been recharged. Uh, so every player yes. gets one Keeper of Trogdor card. We are going to randomly deal those out now. Oh, you get the exciting one. Ooh. The for real Keepers of Trogdor. Yes. You use at your, your own, own risk. risk. Item. Okay, yeah. everyone, item, item. and everyone gets an item of Trogdor. You may, <coughs> the Keepers of Trogdor special ability only works on your turn, and you may only use the item on your turn. These oh. say, these are your thing. Oh my goodness. We got the cheat. Can you show that on the camera? We got the cheat. That means she can cheat. I got this one. What you this means is exactly up to you. Ooh. Oh, so you can cheat however you so choose. I got the flaming, <gasps> I got the, the tennis ball, dog, dog tennis ball throwing thing. Sacred with fireballs! Oh, I got distractive's pouch. After I draw a movement card, I may choose the direction of the peasant movement. Oh, Ooh. that's handy. That so that's nice. a good segue yeah. into, well, what, well, let's go back to this. What did you get, Alexis? Uh, the key sword tar. Um... <laughs> Using your turn, if any knight crosses paths with Trogdor during their movement, go get a six-sided die from other board game. If you roll a four or higher, you block the attack. Three charges if bagels happen. Oh, fortunately, we have bagels in the house, so we, we can make bagels, bagels happen. And I think, <laughs> do you think we're going to be able to find a D6 in this house? I guarantee oh, it. Oh, do we... Do we have any of those? I don't know. Oh, man. You know what? I actually have a whole bunch that Melinda gave me right oh. over here. Um, oh, no, yeah, this oh, one you want says, to show your item. 
Trogdor, peasants, knights, and the archer are all slathered up with old man rub. For the whole game, on everyone's turns, they automatically use tunnels for free when they land on them. Whoa! The recharge is doesn't need one, but if you want, perform a 30 second infomercial for old man rub. <laughs> Ooh, gross. So there are, uh, her card mentions the tunnels. There are two tiles here. These are the tunnels. So what, what that means is, okay, so when Trogdor is doing his movement, he cannot move like uh, across the, what's wrap that called? Around. Wrap around, wrap around. He cannot wrap around. The knights, the archers, the peasants can, but Trogdor cannot. The tunnel pile here, you would declare that they are moving to there and using the tunnel, and you can pop up to the top of the board. There are ways around that wrap around, of course, because there are ways to break rules, as the cheat will allow I you to do. Cheat. Here is an example of a I'm movement the, card. I'm the kind of show that. So no, when this card is when this card is drawn, uh, there's a couple of ways that these cards are actually utilized. Um, I forget when the, when you do the peasant portion of it. Well, there are let's 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 back up and start with the different phases of the turns. Okay. Uh, phase one is we move Trogdor, we control Trogdor, and so that involves these action cards here. So everyone has one action card that they automatically Wait. have. And then at the beginning of your turn, you draw an additional action card. So you look at the two action cards and you decide which one you want to do. These action cards give you action points. So if I would use this card, not only uh, do I get to burn in a, a tile, peasant, or eligible cottage up to two tiles away in any single direction after my movement in turn, but I also get five action points. I can use those action points to do any number of things. I can move one space. That is an action point. I can chomp a peasant. If I choose to chomp the peasant, he immediately goes up to my trog meter. It's kind of like healing yourself. I can burninate the peasant. We'll talk about what happens in a second there. Or I can burninate the tile in which each of these tiles are two sided. We have the regular side and the burninated side. Or I can hide. I can only hide if I'm in a mountain. That way I lay down, I am hidden, and neither the archer nor the knight can see me and therefore cannot harm me. Or I can use the tunnel. So there are a bunch of things that you can do. They are all detailed here in the instruction manual of all of the things that Trogdor can do on his turns when he gets action points. So once I've used my action points, then I can use, and the, the, the action cards are pretty easy uh, to understand once you get the whole concept of the game. So you gain action points. Uh, you also have the option to just discard an, act, uh, uh, an action card, not use its ability, but then you get five action points. Oh, there were a lot more comments that I missed. It wasn't scrolling automatically. Alan's in. Hello, Alan. Oh, Alan says hello, children. Oh, hello, Alan. Hello. Oh, and he says if we happen to not have a D6, we can just roll a D12 and have it. Turns <laughs> Math! Wow. For the You're right. D12s are much easier to get hold of in this house. Clearly. <coughs> right. So, I think D20s is yet. at this point, I am going to reshuffle these and deal out an action card to everybody. Sounds great. So that is the Trogdor phase. You play an action card and use your action points in order to move. And then we enter the board phase. Um, that's when you, that's really when the movement cards come in handy because all of the peasants that are on the board move this direction here. So each peasant would move in a northeasterly direction. All of the knights follow this movement. So then this knight would go one, two, and then up two. The knights heal any burning cottages all along their way. Mm -hmm. And if they happen to come into contact with Trogdor along the way, they do damage to him. Once the knights move, then the archers follow the same. At the end of the archers movement, whatever their last movement was, they shoot in that direction. So if they move north or south, they shoot this way. If they move east or west, they shoot this way. Okay? Arrow! And yes, everyone is supposed to say arrow when the archers move. So I'm going to put the knights back because they are not actually this knight goes here. The tree, yeah. And yeah. when the peasants move, the peasants. they there's an option. Can you show on the move card? Oh yes, let me find when, another move card. Show that move card. I well, can no. I want to show, show this, this one. one. Flip it. It's oh. upside down. Oh, it's upside down. I'm oh, sorry. So in this case, the peasants would move south, 
and then repair any burninated tiles that they move to. The peasants only move one square on a turn on time, unless you burninate them. When you burninate them on Trogdor's turn, you draw a movement card. You crown, well, first you well, crown the them first, the Yes, the card. most important thing is that you crown the peasant with the flame crown. This is an important part of the ceremony. Do not skip it. And then the peasant moves along that path, burninating every tile in its wake. And then it dies and goes into the void. Never to return unless you unless have you the have card it. that has that ability that allows you to do that. <laughs> She's got the cheat, so she can just cheat however she wants. <laughs> the other thing that happens at the beginning of this turn is see we have these peasants here. And so that that is how many peasants need to be on the board in order for the phase to continue. Well, here we already have three peasants. It calls for two. We don't need to add any more. But if there were only one peasant on here, a peasant would spawn in an unburninated cottage tile. This Perfect. is going to make it more sense. To as we, so we're going to yeah. go ahead and, and get this get this wagon train to roll, and we're going to walk through a demo here. If you have questions along the way, do just drop us a comment. I am watching the comments as we are rolling here. Once again, this is a cooperative game for two to six players. We played it the other night about, about 45 an minutes, an hour. Well, it took us an hour because we read the directions and didn't know right. what we were doing. And that's so. where we're sitting right now, about 15 minutes in. So, um, In order to choose who goes first, they give a number of options in here. Uh, randomly, alphabetically by keeper, drawing straws, throwing darts, pitching pennies. Uh, we can also determine by the longest nose hair, brownest shoes, or coolest consonant cluster in their name. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm a cheat, so. Oh, that is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you say. I'm going first anyway. Okay. <laughs> that that is an excellent use of the cheat. So. Fantastic. All right, start us up. Oh wait, we only need action cards. Oh yeah, we need action cards. <laughs> I'm so I'll sorry. Good use of the cheat. Excellent use of the cheat. Who slant wise? And since this is cooperative, all your cards could be open. Yeah. This this camera setup is really fantastic. I love it so much. Yeah. Okay. Begin your turn. I draw a card. Oh, yes. You draw an action card. You compare the two action cards and decide which one you would like to draw. You use Majesty. You're going to use Majesty. So, so before Trogdor takes any actions, you burninate any tile on the board for free. Whoa. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. Okay. In order to burninate the cottages, Every single adjacent tile must also, and, the, tiles and the tile the cottage is on. You can burninate the tile the cottage is on all day, but until every single other tile is burninated, then you can burninate the cottage, but it does require an action point. I just burn the lake as well. You can burn the lake. In order to burn the lake tile, the ones touching it, not diagonally. We don't need to have the one diagonally burninated, but these other two also have to be burninated. The other thing about the lake is if a burninated peasant passes through the lake tile, it becomes unburninated and is spared. Yeah, well, see, I'm a cheat, so... <laughs> <laughs> Legally, you can burninate any tile on the board for free. Or a cottage if I want to. <laughs> that is your cheat. Ooh, thing. that would, would be a cheat. Don't make okay. it, but I can burninate any tile. So I'm going to burninate the lake. Okay. So. Excellent. What? <laughs> You really don't like the lake. She went after the lake pretty fierce don't, the other night. Okay. Don't use the cheat. It's just because it's much. the only thing that can. Don't use the cheat. No, I'm not gonna like overuse the entire game. Yeah. I well, like how you you were time, like, though. oh my goodness, it's the only thing that can save the peasants, but then the peasants never encountered the lake anyway. So. Because I burninated it so fast, it still heals peasants. Not when it's burninated. Okay. Not when it's burninated, don't do anything. We'll cross that bridge if we get there. If we get there. All right. Now you have five yes, action points have to use. So, let's see. We're going to talk about those in a minute. When it happens. Oh, this is also important, but I'll look right there. So I'm going to move one. I'm going to burn the tile. Okay, that's two actions. Two actions You're still on there. Three. Four. four burn an eight. And I'm going to hang out here. Okay. That. All right. All right. So that is your drawing door phase. Yep. Yay! So now you draw a movement card. Yes. And let's see where our peasants move. How many peasants do we need to have on the board? Zero. Zero. Excellent. So we don't add any. North, west. 
All right, and they repair. North. Oh, oh, oh man, he just repaired the lake. Northwest. Okay. And what about knight, our knights? Knights. Come marching one by one. Oh. Um, okay, so we go down one, over one. Down one, west, west. That was <laughs> that was a long road. Wait. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. Down one, oh, oh no. So oh. arrow. Oh. Their last movement was west, so they shoot this way and look who's in their path. Oh man! So, okay. Hmm. So we take a we take a peasant from the trog meter. From the trog meter. Didn't the we void. determine it goes into the void? Yes. Um. Yes, it goes into the void. We talked about when it's removed from okay. the trog meter, goes into the void. Yeah, we yeah. It goes okay. into the void. Does it fix that cottage if it's really bothering me that it's not covered? All right. So now, one thing we didn't talk about is this guy right here. The trog hammer. Trog hammer. So, now that Trogdor has taken damage, it has attracted the attention of the Troghammer. So we have Troghammer cards. These are additional possibilities for the Troghammer acts as any other knight would. Ooh. Except he has the potential to come out on Trogdor's turn. Yeah. So I'm going to shuffle him into oh, okay. the action card deck. And we will deal with him as he comes. Okay, but the good news is we have two burninated tiles. Um, we're closing in on burninating the college, and we have the option to college. Eat a college. Oh. Burninating the college. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I was gonna say that sounds a little bit illegal. And uh, that's, that's illegal. We have the option to burninate and or chomp a peasant. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up. Is me. Play rotates to the left, so that's you. That's me. So Great. I'm going to draw my action card. Flip him up, Fran. After Trogdor's actions, he may burn any, any number of diagonally adjacent tiles. Oh, that's kind of cool because I also have this sidewise. It says during my any of my actions, I may burn an adjacent tile to the north, south, east, or west for free. Both those are pretty good. I also have the tennis ball thing, except with fireballs. And I can use that to burn any tile or eligible cottage. No, again, if I use that, it's going to exhaust it. Unless you're the cheat. So, unless you're the cheat, yes. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, um, wait, I have to keep one, right? Yeah. So I'm going to use my sidewise and get free action, or five actions. And I may burn an adjacent tile to the north, south, east, or west. For free. Whenever For free. Want. Whenever I want. So the first thing we're going to do, I forget, when I ignite the tile, no, I have to ignite the peasant. Yeah. Okay. The peasant the only peasant become burn the lake. Yeah, well, and the peasants oh, only right. become ignited themselves if they enter a tile with a burning thatch roof cottage. That's right. Or he ignites them. Correct. So... We're going to start with action one. I'm going to burn innate this tile. Action two, I'm going to burn innate this tile. Oh, wait, that was movement was to two. Burn innate was three. Action four, I'm going to do my sidewise thing to burn innate this tile. So I still have one action left. Um... That cottage is now eligible for I know. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and move. I'll go ahead and move up here. So that was my five actions. And then I'm going to activate my dog, tennis, dog, tennis ball thing with fireballs and ignite this cottage. Yes. All right. So that is my turn. Now this gets recharged when Trogor is. Oh. So you should move yeah, I here. I should move here because this gets recharged when. He visits, um, he visits a corner store. I mean tile. Any corner tile. So, so it looks like he's visiting that, so yep. it's automatically recharged. Yep. Excellent. Moving on to you. 
Oh, no, no. you got to move peasants. Oh, I got to move peasants. Right. That's right. Okay. Oh, no. Four Ooh. peasants. We just need one more peasant. One more peasant. Does that come off the, it comes trog off the trog meter? meter. Yeah. And it has to go onto an eligible square with the cottage. So that was the only one available. Oh, I guess it could have gone there, too. Wait, are they going south? And they're going southwest. Oh, wait, here. So they just move or they repair? They just move. They just move. So he's going to move south. down here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He moves down there. And then he so moves. West. Next one over. There you go. What? Okay. He's good. He's good. And then for our knights, he's going to move starting here. One, two, three, one, two. Excellent. And then one, two, one, two, three. Perfect. Archers. One, two, one, two. Error. 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 Perfect. No. Excellent. No damage. Oh, that's fantastic. That was a good turn, I feel. Yeah. All right, you're up. Okay. Well, a Trogdor is looking a little beat up. So I am going to. Oh, he's in the square with a peasant. He is. In this. Yeah, so I'm just going to eat this peasant. Oh, wait, did you draw your oh, extra card? No, I, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm really excited about eating the peasant. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I have a Trog Hammer card. So the first thing, the trog hammer, the first time it spawns, it spawns in the center square. Hello there, my strong chair. So I draw a movement card, and I move the trog hammer. Wait, it happens right away? Yes. yes. Oh, boom, no! Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. He moves all the So he has damaged trog door. This is an issue. <coughs> so, um, well, I was planning oh, on, oh, and then I draw another movement card, or draw another action, action card. card. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, high energy! Oh my goodness. Seven. Behold, in the field in which I grow my action points, see how rich in nutrients and loam. Okay, so I can either do diagonal movement for this turn, or use seven action points. Oh, I think I'm going to yeah. go with these seven action points. So I'm going to eat this peasant, that's one. Hmm. So if I go two, three, four, burn five, move six, eat seven, that'll set us someone else up to possibly burn this cottage later, hoping yeah. that none of the knights are able to repair it. So two, three, four burn five six eat seven all right so awesome i have healed trog door so it really bothers me that the tiles are not equidistant from each other i'm trying to get over it okay all right so now i need to move move things so we have of... two peasants on the board we already have two peasants that's good okay we are going to move the knights I gotta move the peasants. They move northeast. So north, north east. east. So it'd be north. On the lake. He's on the lake. East. Okay. I was. I oh know. I was trying to figure it out. Northeast. Wow. Okay. North, north east. East. And there's only two peasants. Oh, there's only two peasants. Okay. So we're gonna move the knights. Oh yeah. Sorry. Here we go. One, two, down, two, and over. One, two, down, two. And over. And draw a camera. One, two, down, two. Ah! Okay. All right. Well, good thing I healed him. Yes. And then the archers. Archer. Oh, and the archers. Oh, no. Ah, they go. One, two. Oh, we're fine. Down, right two, and over. And they shoot arrow. Arrow. Okay. All right. Okay, that's me. All right. I don't like my keeper ability very much. What is it? I can use mountains as tunnels. That's mm -hmm. not very helpful to me this turn. Okay. Invisibility. During Trogdor's actions, Trogdor can't take damage from the knights on this turn. Does not Ooh. apply on knights. Uh, does not apply to knights' movement. Hmm. Should I use slantwise? So I use slantwise that I could burn this tile. 
and that would be five. So that one would burn, we could burn that one for free. Burn that one, so one. Over here, two, burn three. And then go here. Eat the peasant. Mm. And then eat the peasant, yeah. Yeah. Well, would I be able to? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Because so, you're, you're, wait, are you, are you burning slant lies? No, it's an action. It's for free. It's free. So, it's for free. So you would go burn one, move two, burn three, move four. And eat then you five. can, well, if you, let me look because I think oh, yeah, this, this peasant is on, well, you can either eat the peasant and gain health. Or if you burn the cottage, then the peasant burns too, and he mm -hmm. moves around like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do we want to heal more? Wait. <sighs> Never mind. Three knights on the board. That's a toughie. Um, I also have this. If I roll a four or higher on the knights, I take damage. So it's a risk, but. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Lord Pastry. Oh, and then Lord... we can make bagels happen, and you can use it again. For Lord Pastry for a Fingalbird. Um, on my turn, archer arrows kill peasants in their path, but knights fall off them. Add any skewered peasants to the trog meter. Yeah! Oh, yes. I like that, too. Yeah. Okay, all right. So set I, the cottage on fire? Yeah, I'll set the cottage on fire. So, the These first guys. player. Okay. Discard that. So, and you're going to use that to burn an eight. Burn an eight. Move these guys. So, that's one. one. Move two. Mm -hmm. Burn three. Move four, and then burn five. Burn five. Yeah. Yeah. And now we must. Now we have two of the three thatch roof cottages burning. So now we good. need to crown. Oh, go for it. The peasant. That's an important step. The most important. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what path of destruction he takes. Moving card. Okay, hold on. Let me do this right. There you go. He's going. Let, 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 let her do it. She's going to move. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that one burns. Mm -hmm. And then this one. And then one more over. And okay. Oh, excellent. And then dies. Oh yeah, and then it dies and goes into the void. Alrighty. Let's see what happens with the knights. Ooh, I'm lucky I didn't draw that one for actual movement because it's four peasants. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. see what happens with the knights and the archer. Oh, oh. And repair! Okay. Yikes. That would kill us. No, no. not necessarily. we got to take one more damage. No, because we only have one on the board and it needs four, and there's only two here. Yeah, that, that's not yeah, Oh, that's wait, not only one we can go on here. Yeah, only that's right. Can spawn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because so, they cannot spawn. So move and repair. So move east and repair. Excellent. East and repair. Excellent. All right. Now the knights. Oh no. Okay. Uh, so and they repair cottages. Yikes. All right. So he moves up one. Dang it. And repairs the cottage. Moves here, 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 if I got that correct. Mm -hmm. And then he moves up here. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, but you have your key card. I know, but he repaired the cottage. All yeah. right, I need a dice here as well. Oh. No, it's only on mine. Okay, I roll a four or higher. Nice. Oh, oh I got a oh, six. Excellent. So you avoid. I don't take damage. Oh, bagels. bagels. I gotta go get a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Can I split that bagel? No, because you still need the bagel for if it happens I mean, again. We can use one bagel multiple times. Yeah. Bagels yeah. Could just keep happening. Ba bagels just happen. Throw the bagel at me. I'll catch it. Do not throw the bagel at her. She was fully prepared to. <laughs> I know she was. <laughs> It's if can you lightly toss it to me? And just so our internet audience at home is sure, a bagel's happening. Bagel. No, you can't have, the bagel. have, have the bagel. We have to have the bagel right. happen again. So I can this... give you the other half of the bagel and well, then bagels okay, happen wait, again. Wait, 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 wait. I just want a bite. Just tear off a piece of bagel. Have, have the, right, are we in the night space? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes, we need truck hammer to move. Don't 
bother me. All right, so you are now finished. Nope, not yet. Well, try right. hammer. Mm. Really? Uh, He's gonna. All right. Yeah. I know. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. But it's okay because bagels. They bagels all... are Wait, happening. Hang on. Bagels are happening. Finish moving them. If any knight crosses paths with Trogdor yeah, in their movements. Yeah, it already happened. Yeah, okay. it already happened once, and we re we recharged it with a bagel. Okay, so he, he, he needs to finish, finish moving. I know, I know. So he goes... No, I feel like that's for the rest of the phase. No. Well, she is the cheat. But she can only cheat on her turn. That's true. It goes up. I rolled for this. I can and say it... it's my turn for about five seconds. No, say no. that's not how that works, and then go back. But I, I, I rolled the dice and got a three, so that's it. I took the damage. Okay. So he moved. He's, he's at this point in his movement. So he needs to go up, up. and then like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the archer. Mm. No peasant. Oh, arrow. arrow. No, no peasants, peasants get skewered. Man. That was a bad one. That was a rough turn. We need to get some more. Maybe there's more peasants on the trog meter. Oh, trog meter. Oh, really? Draw, draw, draw an action card. No. Oh no. No, I refuse. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. That's a cheat. All okay. right, that works. I refuse. Can I get another action card? Yes. Yeah, because because you may cheat. <laughs> oh yes, they call him the cheat. <laughs> All right. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say about two of those peasants can go back on the trog meter. About two. Two. <laughs> no, you already used your cheat. I can use what this means exactly is up to you. <laughs> Win the game is <laughs> boom done. Yeah, okay, that's too easy. But all right, so you want to put two peasants. I want to make sure meter. that we still have some. Yeah, it's fair at least. And then I'm going to use this hidey hole. Yes. After Charger's so action, you can burrow to a mountain tile and hide there for free. Excellent. I'm going to burn and eat this cottage. Mm -hmm. There's one. Burn. The other has that two, oh, three, three and four. four. Okay. And then burrow and hide. Excellent. Awesome. It's really good. It is go. good. I want more bagel. All right, we'll go get another bagel. No. No. Wait okay. until we need it. Yeah. We do not. We cannot we waste the bagels. We need bagels to happen. The bagel <laughs> might get. All right. <laughs> movements. Peasant movements. Right. Yes. Peasant. Peasant movements. They are moving. Southeast. Well, first of all, we need three peasants. Oh, yes. And we only have two. So one. Oh, wait. No, oh, you can go there. Well, he can go either. Okay, because <laughs> you're cheating. Got it. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Alan says he got kicked off and it keeps stopping. No, no. Oh. Let me. I've got, uh, I had another window open that might have been causing it. I'll also close a couple other things I had open. Okay, in the meantime. Yes, in the meantime. We are, oh, just real quick, we are also saving this video, and it will appear on our YouTube channel ooh, later, ooh, and it ooh, should ooh. be completely south? free of that. Yeah, but east. No, south. South. East. Oh. Seems like a cheat card would allow throwing bagels. Oh. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's this guy going? <gasps> Ooh! Does he go actually pass through that tile, or does he yeah. just go here? He he passes through the tile. Then why didn't he go east and south? Because you're the cheat, and you can do what you want. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't want to abuse the cheat. But it's the cheat. Okay. You do whatever you want with it. All right. So we'll table that. Yeah. Move last this. peasant. Last peasant. Yes. Awesome. Okay. All right. So that peasant is burninated. That peasant is burninated. So should we do this now, or yes? Yeah. Okay. All right, and that peasant now goes to the void. All right, darn. <coughs> All right, excellent. Good turn. We're getting close. Mm -hmm. And now these guys move. Yep. So. Wait, draw a new card. No, oh, no, it's the same one. Never mind. I'm sorry. Up. Over and up. 
Perfect. Perfect. And can't take the end of it. hiding. Oh, that's right. Trogdor does not take any damage while he's hiding. Yes. And then move the archer. Yeah, sorry about that. Melinda just said that hers locked up at its back. So sorry about that. I think it was just because I had too much other stuff open. All right. Uh, again, I will be oh, saving, yes. I will be saving the video and posting on the YouTube's later. Okay. Did you know we have a YouTube channel as well? What? What's that? A YouTube channel and an Instagram. Well, everybody knows you have an Instagram. She got a TikTok. I'm with it. I'm hip. You should get a TikTok. I got Yonka help. Yonka. Mm. Honka help. Yonka. Yonk, yonk. Yonk, yonk. Oh, yonka. I can chomp any peasant on the board for free. Yeah, we're using that. So for five actions, and I get to chomp a peasant anywhere on the board for free. Who do I want to chomp, chomp? But should we chomp? Chomp. Chomp, and that goes back to the trog meter. Oh, he's no longer hiding. He's no longer hiding. I now have five actions. So let's start with. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. Can I have the stool? Pop. Um, I can't have the stool. Uh, do I want to do that? All right, any tile or eligible. Oh, wait. That cottage is eligible. That cottage it, is eligible. So is that one. No. no oh, you to, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fireball tennis thingy and Ow. do that. And then I'm going to use my five actions. So one recharge. and recharge. Burn. So that's two. Moving back for three. Burn and Nate the mountain for four. Four, um, moving to the daisies for five. Peasant time. Three. How many do we have on the board? One. Only one. But only one. But only one can go. Oops. Nope. One can go out only because there's only one unburned <laughs> cottage. Yikes! The knights can really move now. We'll start with this one here, huh? No, I don't think they're going to affect you, though. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah. He was here. Okay. So one, two, oh, you're one, wrong. two, three. Yeah. And then this one, this one, two, one, two, three. Troll oh, hammer. Gosh oh, dang hammer. it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, wait. Then... No, it should be on the bottom uh -huh. tile, not the top. Yeah. Two, two, three arrows. Trog hammer should be no, on the bottom. No, because no, there are because he he was oh oh here oh. and then he moved one two three there. Yeah, that's right. Oh. If not, the internet will tell us. <laughs> okay. Internet. Oh, did the peasants move? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh no, they didn't. Shoot. Go so south southeast. Southeast. Oh, sorry. That's, sorry. That's the wrong way. No, around. no, you were right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was. You yeah, were southeast. Wrong. Oh, it's backwards, remember? There we go. Oh, good. Somebody chomp him on that turn. That would be me. Yes, it is. All right. Shump, shump. All right. Well, I'm going to draw an action card. It is, yes, it is not trog. a trog hammer. Ooh. Okay. If trog door ends its turn on oh. a flower tile, the next player gets an extra three action points. Or I can move diagonally. Mm. I don't like either one of these, so I might just discard one and take five action points since they are both four action points. I do have that option. Do this. Or use your, which was the one that allows you to move all oh, diagonal. Well, what you could do if you take four actions here, you could go. Oh, I mean, you can't, you can't, yeah, but you can't. Well, I, yeah, well, you I can go. Chomp, yeah. Chomp. Well, I was just thinking. Two, three, four, and then, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All, right. All right. And then Alexis gets an extra three extra action points. Extra three action points. Right. Okay, so I'm going to do that. All right, so See? I'm going to chomp. Cooperation. Chomp this press. This chomp, one. chomp. So that's one, two, burninate, burn burninate, three, I'm burning eight for burn four. Eight. Yeah, and now that cottage is eligible to be burninated. And if someone 
Well, we'll see what happens on this turn. Somebody has have to... three extra action points. Because if all three of the cottages go up, we win. Yeah. Yeah. I know, we're so close! Okay, you gotta do the thing. All right. Well, okay, so. Oh, man. Peasants can move northwest. And one. Oh, oh, but we need four of them. You're not going to get four of them. Well, that's okay. Yeah, one okay. Eligible Does cottage. it move and repair or just move? Nope, it's just move. Um, I also have the ability to make the peasants move somewhere else if I would like to. Northwest, northwest. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. All right. So, and then the knights are going to go. No, it, this is okay. Watch this. They're going to go one, down two, and then over. He avoids the cottage completely. Ah. <laughs> this one goes over, over, down two, and over. Excellent. Over. Down to ah. Uh, that's what I was. Yeah. And over. That's okay, okay, but that's okay. Good Archers. thing I chopped that peasant. Archers. All right. It goes on, down to and over. Arrow. Oh, that's Arrow. Not her turn. All in your oh. oh. Cheat. No, not my turn. Also, if there are no peasants on the board, we also win. So. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Okay. All right, All right but. Wait, hold on. You have three extra action. What are you doing? What are you doing? Making a circle around. Oh. They're doing a peasant ritual to remember the oh dead my ones. Goodness. Even, they're the dead ones. Wait. Okay. It's like a Draw your action. Reverse? No. They're summoning the others. Because I dead. think we've got to win. Yeah. Majesty, before Trogdor's action, he may burn in any tile on the board for free. Okay. All right. Um, I'll go with that one because it's got five. So you have another eight one. Eight action points. Yes, I have eight oh action points. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to win. Burn I think we are too. I'm going to choose to burn in a torch bar. And you can really, I'll just go with this one. There you go. And then. Now you have eight action points. I'm going to. <laughs> you need... Wait, wait. Just to be a jerk to the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, chop, chop five, <laughs> six, seven, burn. <laughs> oh, yay. 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 We have burninated the countryside. All right, there you go. We did not have so gotten the cheat. Domination. If we, just so you know, to lose the game, we run out of if we run out of action cards or a Trogdor gets thing. He does go on one final rampage where you draw five movement cards. And then you move Trogdor in these or movements, burning everything. He gains and if you, wrap around. And he, he gains, he wrap, gains around. wrap around. And if you happen to fulfill the win conditions during his final rampage, you also win. So it's ten it's times really, better than a regular win. It, yeah, the the, the also rules he, say it's ten also times better. Also, he automatically kills any person, <coughs> like any card on fire, burninates everything, and so, kills the knights because heck it, why not? Yeah, <laughs> because heck it. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Once again, Trog Draw the board game. Woo! We won. We do have this on sale. We have it on our web store, spacecadetsgaming.com. You can order it. And yeah. we will ship it to you. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Alan and Melinda, for being active in the comments. Thumbs up. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up, everyone. Thumbs up. Woo!